You know, one question people have is, you know, when we baptize with water, where should we do it? You know, where, where do, where should, is there one way we should baptize or one place we should baptize or one way we should baptize with water? You know, I don't believe so. I think the example we see in scripture is, uh, you know, being baptized in a river, being baptized in a natural body of water and not in a man-made body of water. So that's, that's what I plan to do in this church. There is a, a river nearby called George's River. I'm trying to look for a location along that river where we can just go and park and then just do a baptism in that river. I haven't been able to um, explore it all yet. There is a reserve where you have to pay $7 to get your car in. So worst comes to worst, we'll go to that reserve. Um, so I haven't figured out all the logistics yet, but it'd be great if we can just have lunch by that river and just have baptism and, and the lunch together. I don't know if we'll just do it as people get saved and want to get baptized, or we'll you know, make certain days where we'll have a group of people getting baptized. Um, well, I guess we'll cross that river when we get to it. No pun intended. Uh, you know, other people, they you know, baptize in a pool. You know, whether, maybe if it's in summer or they baptize in a spa or if it's in the winter. Some people baptize in like, a, you know, just a trough outside with water or in a, in a bathtub. You know, I don't think, you know, it validates or invalidates your baptism how you get baptized in water. Uh, the example we see in the Bible is obviously in a river of water. But, you know, an example is not a commandment because, you know, not everyone lives where there is a river. So it's not even possible sometimes.